everybody and welcome to another Stackland Studio experience. This is going to be a gameplay video because OBS is being an ass and I can't record in OBS using my face cam for some reason. I don't know why. So, you get to listen to my silky smooth voice, or at least I hope it's silky smooth today. It might just be really tired. Um, so, why did I, Why? how do I have a $500 brick? Well, I actually don't have it now. I've sent it back and gotten, or will be getting the money back soon. Let me talk to you guys a little bit about uh, buying on eBay and how I was actually scammed in a way um, and how you need to just be careful when you're buying on eBay. So I bought from a seller called OM Electronics 14. Uh, they had pretty good uh, ratings on eBay, so I always make sure to check people's ratings and previous reviews before, you know, pulling the trigger on a purchase. I am, however, a very, uh, like, instant buyer. Like, I, I don't take a lot of time to uh, decide if I want to buy something, but um, I always go through and, you know, check and do my research. However, I don't think I did enough research because I, when I have Metro PCS as my network, because uh, whenever you take in like a phone, like the Obama phone, uh, you get a free phone and you can port over your phone number. That's perfectly fine. They don't care. Um, they'll easily work with you. And all of the people are really, really nice at the, uh, at all of the stores. How did this come to be that I have now a $500 paperweight. Well, I purchased the Samsung Galaxy S7 on kind of a whim in a way, um, but I also wanted it because it was waterproof and the fact that it just has a great ass camera. And I really wanted the experience of Samsung and of not really just Samsung um, but a premium smartphone experience, and Sony kind of let me down, uh, because I was trying to look at Sony's cameras and stuff, um, but since Sony has screwed me over so much with my camera, um, since, like, the last ten videos I've done have either had to be, uh, completely fragged, or I had to go back and, uh, dub over, uh, gameplay. So that kind of sucked. Um, thankfully, I did have my audio saved and a separate file because I'm getting used to doing that. But that's besides the point. But Samsung kind of, uh, Sony kind of let me down, and I, that's why I went with Samsung because Sony is now offering, you know, this flagship ex, uh, Xperia, and I really wanted that. Um, but the reviews came in, and they aren't so great. Um, so I looked at the S7 and S7 Edge. S7 Edge is a pain in the ass to deal with, although it's a bigger phone, and I do like bigger phones, it's a pain in the ass to deal with because it's so slippery, and most cases and screen protectors don't cover the whole thing, so you end up dropping it and breaking it. So I obviously don't want to drop and break, you know, a, uh, what is it, uh, $700, $800 phone? Um, I, I just don't want to do that. So I went ahead and bought through eBay, um, through what I had hoped was a reputable seller. And this seller, I got the phone in decent time. Um, not as fast as I would have hoped, obviously. Um, but I got the phone. I activated it on the Metro PCS network after, uh, making sure that it was unlocked. And, well... It wasn't unlocked, or not in the casual sense of being unlocked. The It was technically unlocked off of the AT&T network. However, now it doesn't matter because it wasn't paid for. That's right. You heard me correctly. It wasn't paid for. I went onto the AT&T Unlock website using the AT&T Unlock tool. And I logged in, and I seen that a message popped up that said, you cannot unlock this device because it is currently locked to a plan or hasn't been paid for in full. 
So obviously, I raised an eyebrow and said, what? And called up AT&T customer service, just in case, you know, the phone was stolen. And I definitely don't want stolen property. So what did they say? They said that they couldn't help me and that it might be stolen property, but I shouldn't worry about it. So by the way, if you have AT&T, don't have AT&T because they don't care if you have a stolen phone, apparently. They're just going to let other people use it on other networks. Okay, then. So, on top of that, there was a million AT&T apps on that phone, and it just was a pain in the ass to deal with, because every single time that you restart the phone, and if you've ever activated a phone, you know how many times you have to restart a phone when you're activating it on a new network. So, with that little rant out of the way, Metro PCS activated the phone, no problem, on their network, thankfully, except for the fact that I couldn't make phone calls. So I had a phone that cost me $500, but I couldn't make phone calls. I could access data, I could send and receive text messages, but I couldn't send or receive calls over Volte or Voice over LTE, nor could I send or receive phone calls over the cellular network. And it was a pain in the ass. I couldn't even send or receive calls over Wi-Fi, which is a big feature of most of these phones. And when you call into Metro PCS's support service, they act like they don't care. And that they simply just say, oh, just go outside. Well, when you're a business person who has to make phone calls inside for, you know, privacy reasons, you can't quite go outside at every second just to, you know, make, you know, a phone call. So it, it kind of pissed me off about their customer service. So I, I messaged the seller OM Electronics 14 on eBay, explained the situation, told them that, you know, this is the problem. They said, absolutely no problem. We can send you a return label. They did. And they gave me the option to either have a full refund or get a replacement. I chose the full refund because when I called and talked to OM Electronics, they stated that this was common because they bought the phones in bulk from AT&T. And AT&T may have broken the phones. They may have been customer returns. The phones may have not been paid for in full. And all of this is okay with AT&T, apparently. So it just kind of irks me off that this happens. And then people who, like myself, bought the items, we get stuck with a broken phone. So just be careful when you're buying on eBay. And for me, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy an I've already purchased, actually, the Samsung Galaxy S7. Except for this time, I bought the G930F, which is the factory unlocked version, which means that it'll have no bloat from the factory, or no bloat from the OEM, at least. Um, it'll still have the Samsung bloat, but that's perfectly fine with me. I can deal with Samsung. Uh, it's still kind of a heavy system, but... You know, it's what do you what do you expect from, you know, a five hundred dollar smartphone. I guess the moral of this story is make sure you understand what you're buying on eBay because a lot of times the sellers will try to scam you, maybe not intentionally, but it may happen. So do your research prior, make sure that you buy a phone that you're okay with, and definitely don't buy a locked phone to one carrier because it's just not worth it because you have the bloat, you have all of the crap. And again, as I, I think I didn't finish that story, but every time I restarted the phone, it would try and send a message back to AT&T, kind of like a relay call, phoning to home. I couldn't do anything about that because it's no longer on the AT&T network. It's on the Metro PCS network. So they could do nothing to stop that phone number from sending that message out. What I'd recommend is buying a factory unlocked 
of any phone that you can get simply because there's no bloat and maybe a hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars more uh in apple's case at least um but it's gonna be worth it in the end because it is yours you don't have to bow to the people who created the custom rom or anything like that all you have to do is activate it on your network and then just go about your daily life you don't have to try and root it so that you can uninstall and all that shit. No. Fuck that. Just get unlocked. It's it's better. It's worth it. I'm telling you, the $200 is probably worth it. If you want to check out uh, another video about Metro PCS, you can click the little I up in the corner. And you'll be able to check out Austin Evans' video about you know, the phones that he recommends from Metro PCS, which I do have to say, their trade-in program is quite good because you still get to keep your old phone, um, but you get a free phone anyway, so, okay, I guess. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay loyal and stay subscribed. See you all next time. Yeah.